chairman of IRTS, yes. and I was able to take um, you know my experience in digital media and social because I'd started in social you know with my clients, so streamline, and really work with MediaVillage.com to increase their social media platform um, and their distribution from those channels. And so I worked there full time. Um, by that time, I had gotten. Um, I, my company had secured a contract with theshaderoom.com, mm -hmm. um, which was a high-level client yeah, for us, right? I like, okay, you, you like, know, yeah, we millions of people. We had a, we had an expansive portfolio of what we do for them, from mm -hmm. branding to video production to web development and design. There we go. Everything, right? So, our company was entrusted by Brian Young, who's their brand manager and um, a Morehouse alum as well, to you know help steer the company into a media company, mm -hmm. you know, from a blog. It yeah. started in 2014. That's eight, you know, 14 million people across that's, channels now, that's you know? crazy. It's too crazy and it's inspiring, right? Yeah. But for me, I was working a full-time job and then promising them and other clients that we had uh, at Streamline so much that I was stretching myself. It literally was like many of my uh, friends, colleagues are doing now, you know, wake up from seven to seven, you're on someone's job, or in that time span, you're going mm -hmm. to work or coming home. And then from eight to 2 a.m., it was streamlined, it was shade room, mm -hmm. it was building Working their website. Whatever project it is, you whatever after it, that. Yeah. It, it was, it was a lot, right? So, like, and then waking up and doing everything else. All over. Um, yeah. So, by May, I was like, mm -hmm. all right, cool, let's see what I can do that's different. And I was prepared to leave um, Media Village mm. because I was like, well, I wasn't prepared to leave. I should step back and say that it was necessary, I think. It was in my mind. I was been talking about it. Um, you know, Kedra can tell you, like, I was talking about it too much. Mm -hmm. And everything, when I talk about something too much, that means it's going to happen. I just don't know how to you know, formulate to, yeah. it yet. So yeah. I asked Jack, I was like, hey, you know, I love working here. I love being here. I do have a company though, and I believe that we can do what we do on a full-time basis, um, you know, with you as a streamlined client. It frees up time for me to do other projects. It, it gives me time for me to do uh, Media Village more proficiently, mm -hmm. and it focuses me on certain areas, you know, and versus doing everything. And I thought he was going to say, hell no. And he said yes. You know, it Man. took it took a few after he said yes. It took a few more weeks for everything to kind of smooth right, down. To but he said yes, and I, I I respect that because he could have said no. He could have said you know you choose or anything. But mm -hmm. he said sure. You know, he gave a chance, and so from there we were able to bring Media Village on as a client. So now we have Media Amazing. Village, we have Shade Room, we have Davis and Dingle, who was a you know three to six year old client that I, that's my first job honestly mm -hmm. at fifteen years old. So they were a client, social media, um, and then we were able to then build 